Okay, welcome everybody to another Friday Footfalls. Going to be running some Bant Rhinos through today. This is the highest performing list from the uh, big event in Europe the other this this past weekend. Um, I can't remember the pilot's name, but I will put a link in the description below to the deck list. You can go and check it out. It's all on uh, MTG Millie. So, pretty standard um, shell with a couple of notable points I guess so um, we've got the we're running the leyline scion binding package um, which yeah I, I think I like at the moment um, we've got obviously the the eight cascade spells and then we're running the full complement of free blue spell subtlety force negation down to three fire ice but we are running one questing beast as an additional threat um, and with another one in the side so I think uh, probably the pilot maybe thought that there was going to be a lot of, a lot of ring decks. Um, we're running the sideboards pretty down. We are running two Blood Moon um, and for that we are running three basics in the main. Um, deal with those pesky Amulet Titan players and then a um, couple of Brazen Borrowers, a couple of Dismembers and some Damping Matrix which is interesting. So this is um, activated abilities of artifacts and creatures can't be activated unless the mana abilities. So it's a bit like Cursed Totem, but we can play it because it's three mana. So um, yeah, excited to give this one a go. Um, see how we get on. Big thanks to everyone for watching and coming along for the ride with, with Rhinos today. And thanks, a, a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed. Managed to hit 800 subscribers, which is just absolutely amazing. So big thank you to everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't already, please uh, yeah do consider doing so. It really does mean a lot, uh, help grow the channel. Um, playing quite a lot of Modern and Pioneer at the moment and continuing with Friday Footfalls, trying to, uh, yeah, trying to keep the, the Rhinos alive. So yeah, let's see how we get on uh, in round number one. So we're going to be on the draw here. Uh, the hand is okay. We've got, we do have force. Uh, we've got turn three rhinos. Probably shouldn't yield. Might want to force something. Uh, yeah, we're not forcing that. Looks like scam to me. Right, they take the Shardless Agent. Not uh, too unexpected. We draw uh, planes, which isn't the best. Um, let's play a land and pass here. I guess it's fine if they Blood Moon us. Probably go and get a Surveil land here. Uh, we're running at least one, maybe two. Scalding Tarn, so this isn't Scam. So we've got Hedge Maze and Lush Portico here. Um, I think, I mean, Binding, I think we're gonna get Lush Portico because then we can get Xander's Lounge and have Binding for one mana. Um, so yeah, let's just get Lush Portico. Surveil. Um, I think I'm happy to put that on top. We can't play it this turn, but I think that's, I think that's fine. I just want a threat, really. And Scion of Draco can be hard for, for the opponent to deal with. Here's one of the draws that kind of punishes us for getting this, but um, instead of the, the Triome, but we couldn't have surveilled, obviously, if we, if we go and get that. Uh, okay, so this looks like creativity, actually. Yeah, they put a Persist in the graveyard. So Jun Creativity did very well at the tournament from which I took this deck list. I think it won the, the entire thing. So we're going to get Xander's Lounge. I don't think hmm, they play mate one they usually play one main Oh, Ardent Plea. Okay, so do we want to play I think we're gonna play that. Although that's very good into if they creativity next year. I think actually what I'm gonna do is just go land Scion. So they play one copy of Bitter Triumph. So the reason behind this is if we go 
make rhinos. I guess that wouldn't have been so bad because if they go fetch land, make uh, Archon, we sack a rhino, but then we can just binding the Archon. Um, I think now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the binding. Let use our mana. Okay, draw. Draw a questing beast, which is actually quite <laughs> quite interesting. Um, so let's, I'm going to play that, and we can hold up. We can hold up force this way. Yep. Let's go attacking. Attack for eight. Crescent Beast is uh, quite a card. Big wall of text on that one. So opponent really looking, I guess, for uh, Thoughtseize plus creativity. Okay. So they make a dwarf. They make a fable, which is all fine. Maybe I should have forced that. But this can't be blocked, I don't think. Yeah, so they're taking potentially lethal here unless they can kill one of these things. So we'll just go to combat. If creativity picks up in popularity, this always used to be a fairly decent matchup for us. Okay, so what do we want to change? So Questing Beast was quite good there, but they're not a ring deck, so I don't think we necessarily want it. Um, subtlety is not good. Uh, for endurance is great because we saw um, they are on the persist plan. Uh, Blood Moon is also good against them, so I'm going to bring that in. Um, what else? Like, Blood Moon doesn't play great with Scion and Binding and stuff, but is that enough to make us want to sideboard them out? We could sideboard all of the Ley Lines out. They're probably bringing in loads of Pick Your Poisons anyway. So what if we just go... You can play this through Blood Moon. I think if we go minus Ley Lines, maybe just plus these interactive cards. Is that good? Let's try that. I'm not... I don't know. Let me know what you think with regard to this one. Um, I think that's fine. But I don't really want to go down, you know, start drawing dead late game, go down a card for them to just pick your poison it. Um, this hand's fine. It's not, not anything amazing, but fire, ice is pretty good. We've got enough lands to cast all of our spells. We've got an out to persist. Well, we don't have a green card currently. play the tap land and pass. <coughs> so we are a little bit weak to turn like turn to something turn three pers like turn to um bitter reunion discard a an arc on turn three persist but um, <laughs> a lot of the decks are pretty weak to that. Opponent leaves one on top with the addition of these surveil lands, you're, you're, like, the deck is also able to just creativity on turn. That's uh, not creativity, sorry. Um, just persist on turn two, potentially, if they manage to hit one. Okay, they do have the Archon to put into the graveyard. Right. 
I don't want to play the Scion here, I don't think. Um, I want to play a green land. Let's just play the basic forest. Pass the turn. I'm going to ice the district. Oh no, I'm not actually. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I think so. We'll go ice here. Because this means they can't haste it, even if they do. Even if they do um, have the persist, we haven't got the green card for endurance. Maybe we're not meant to cut all the bind it or make all the ley lines. But now we have the ability to hard cast it. Let's go land, pass. Yeah, didn't want to cast the scion there because if they just go for archon, it's just awful. Okay, so we now have the ability to cast Endurance. They leave one on top again. We really want them to go for uh, Persist here. Okay, they thought seize, so what we're going to do is we'll just go and get Temple Garden. cast this endurance I would imagine they'll take um, brazen borrower because we can bounce whatever they're trying creativity we can bounce the archon yep wouldn't mind drawing blood moon They play the Dwarven Mine and a Fable, so that is quite scary if they have cr if they manage to draw creativity. Mm. Okay, so we'll play the Scion, I think. Give the Endurance Trample. I doubt they'll block. Um, I think I'm just going to play the portico. Like it gives them information, but mm, no, I don't want the procedure. It gives them information, but we might want to. Oh, we've got oh, we've got the basic island in hand. I was thinking we might need to fetch basic island. So I actually, should have played Misty there. <laughs> but um, to, yeah, to fetch for the other surveil land. Dead to well, they discarded in double double creativity, so. We're definitely just dead here because they're going to go creativity on two. We can't do anything about it. Uh, we'll see what they brought in. Okay, so they brought in Emrakul. We didn't see Persist there. We didn't see Pick Your Poison either. Um, is there anything you want to change? Do we leave the ley lines in? I think I prefer what we've got going on. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. Yep, on the play. Uh, yeah, this sounds good. Don't think we're going to cycle the Lauren revealed. A tapped breeding pool. If they go for this, is a case where we probably force a thought seize. Yeah, I'm gonna force that. Just pitch Lauren revealed. Okay, we draw another Lauren reveal, which isn't too bad. Like it's another, yeah, another blue card for force is very nice. If we, if they force, a, if they thought these again, 
question is do we counter it I think I do because otherwise they just take our Charlotte's agent we're not doing anything I'd rather I think I need to make 10 power I think I'm just gonna force again this really punishes us if they have a third thought seize and a land just a land don't thought seize us again they just surveil land no oh this is so bad triple thought sees and we force two of them and then just yeah I think it was still I think it was right to do like we make 10 power there force isn't a bad draw I'll probably force a fable or something here uh, I'm just going to force that. Prison Borrow are not the worst draw. They are at 11 as well. Bitter Reunion. see what they do okay they discard an archon have they got the persist question is do we just go for brazen borrower here I don't think so uh, I'm going to suspend that Yeah, I think I think it was fine to use all those forces. Like we, you know, we pitched some Lorien reveals, which might have got some lands, but you know, we we weren't casting them anytime soon. Kind of want them to go for creativity or something here. Okay, another bitter reunion. I will probably just bounce the dwarf here. They could have Veil of Summer. Yeah, or just Petty Theft. Okay, draw. Uh, yeah, Endurance is actually really good. Like we can... It turns off their Persist draws. And what's very bad is I don't think we can beat Creativity. Although they don't make a token here. Put another Archon into the graveyard. I think I'm just going to cast. I don't know, it depends what they do here. They can't actually cast an Ardent Plea. Hmm, they have another Dwarf in mine. Thankfully, no. I'm just going to cast the Brazen Borrower. So they might have one, two, three, four, five, six. They might have Archon in hand. Bit of triumph pitching a thought seize. Okay, one card in hand. We have got rhinos slowly ticking down. There's another one, which is <laughs> not what we wanted to draw. The question is if we draw Blood Moon, do we slam it? The answer is probably yes. Okay, there's Ren and Six. I'm going to Endurance in response. Because I feel like the opponent may have Archon in the graveyard. Um, sorry, in their hand. 
and we don't really want them getting to 8 mana. Must be next turn the rhinos come down. Ooh, shard this agent. That is very nice. Okay, so we'll just go. A, we'll attack them directly. Play the shard this agent. Footfalls. Make an extra 10 power and hope that the opponent whiffs. Because <laughs> if they have creativity in hand, we're just dead, pretty much. Like if, they, if they draw creativity. Well, maybe not dead. I mean, pretty dead, actually. They go creativity this, we sack Shardless Agent, they give it haste. Uh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, let's get Lush Portico. Uh, do we want to draw that one? No, because it would. Well, we've got four types. No, I don't think we want that one. Given that they've got Besaid you as well. Okay, they tick up and get beside you. Maybe we were meant to do that so that the endurance has trample. Cast this one. Oh, that's a good draw. We can just attack. Attack them. I guess if they have push, like if they have exactly fatal push, kill a rhino, they go to two, but then we just fire them now. So probably should have topped the uh, scion. Okay, there's push, but we have drawn the lethal burn spell. And yeah, we get there. So we were a bit fortunate there. Um, you know, there were a couple of times if the opponent draws creativity, we're pretty dead. But um, yeah, fortunately we get the win. See you for round number two. Right, on the draw here, I think this is fine. Like it's not the best, but we can go Lush Portico into uh, the Triome, which lets us binding on turn two and then Ardent Play on turn 3 into Ardent Play on turn 3 uh, <laughs> if only um, Ardent Play into on turn 3 and turn 4 obviously that's assuming the opponent doesn't have anything to say about about that but okay so yeah let's see opponent's model going down to 6 okay so it's Amulet by the look of it okay Vestige into Grazer, don't really want to see a okay, Boris Garrison, so they're on the more old school Slayer Stronghold plan. So it's going to go Portico. That's not a bad draw. Actually, well, yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll go land. Uh, that's pretty irritating. I guess actually we can just Graveyard I don't really want to draw it, but we can go and get Steam Vents, which cast Leyland Binding next turn anyway. I'm going to graveyard that one. We really don't want to draw it. But the o the thing that that really punishes is, is now we can't cast Scion for two mana. I think that's okay. <laughs> um, like we're not going to be casting that as a threat. I wouldn't have thought. This could be Dryad. Okay, they cast Dryad. Do they have another land? Okay, Vesuva, copy, 
Portico. So they have two cards in hand. I think this turn we're just gonna binding the Dryad. Because next turn, if they go Amulet, okay, they put a card on top. If they go Amulet, Bounce Land, oh, Force is good. Okay, so I think we're just going to go Land. We've only got two cards in hand, actually. Do we just want to Ice? No, I don't think so. So let's go Steam Vents. So if they go Amulet, we could just save the binding for a Titan in all honesty. They haven't got enough land. Like if they go land, land. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to ice this turn. We'll ice the double land. Draw Shardless Agent. Um, difficult to know what to do next turn though. They haven't got an amulet. To be force an amulet is the question. Another Vesuva copying Garrison. Okay. See what they do here. Like if they go summon as packed for something. Okay, expedition map is fine. So they have land X in hand. They could use the map this turn by going Vesuva copy vestige. But they don't. They surveil again. They've only got one card in hand. If it's Titan. Oh, if we'd been on the play, this would have been much easier. So they do put one on top. I think this turn we have to. Do we buy it just binding with so many cascaders in hand? I mean, they don't have a, an amulet. So if they go Titan, they go land, land. Ah, that does. The trouble is, that starts doming us with Valakut. But I really don't want to just use two mana here. I really want to get some rhinos down. Like if we go binding, they haven't actually got any green mana. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna binding. Like it's not amazing. They have one card in hand, but they have something good on top. I'm definitely forcing a we're pretty much forcing any non-land here, I think. Okay, Teleria West. They may have put that on top. With the intention of using the blue mana from Dryad to cycle it. Okay, so now we're just going to go land Shardless Agent. Make 10 power, hope it's enough. 
opponent can use the expedition map to search they could go and get uh, what could they get they get saga they could get a blue land like a bounce land okay they get Beseju which is scary Hmm. Say beside you the binding. Let's get the hedge maze. But yeah, that's not great. Um I think we're gonna top that one. Next turn we can play it. Hopefully they're on uh, summoners packed rather than okay they cast amulet we could force here they can so this is a bit of like chicken almost if we force this and they go titan get two lands if they get Valakut Valakut they get to 12 us I think I'm just going to let this resolve like I think we'd rather like, if they have like if it's exactly tight and we're in really bad shape yeah maybe I was meant to just force that amulet but I think either way we probably lose here They can't give it haste potentially though, because they've got both their Boros garrisons out. Oh, they just no, they just get a land and they just get Slayer Stronghold. Another bounce land. Yeah, I, sh I should have forced this. I was kind of banking on them having to transmute. Oh, uh, sorry, to um, someone has packed for a Titan. Yeah, so they can't give it haste. They could Teleria West though. I'm gonna return Teleria West probably. Okay, so yeah. They get rid of. They transmute the T West. This isn't. This is okay because we get to go binding the Titan. Okay, so go draw binding. Uh, what can we? Yeah, just go and get a basic island I think yeah so they have some of this packed in hand but we've got the force for that so we'll go binding binding the titan ardent plea make a load more rhinos attack with just the Rhino, there's no point in attacking with the Shards Agent. We get extra damage through this way as well. I guess the trouble is that with this Valakurt, if they top deck a land, but I can't believe we were meant to binding the Dryad. Oh, I didn't play a land there, that was dumb could have surveilled. Obviously we force the pact. Hopefully they just haven't drawn anything of note.
play Saga, which is pretty good. Better than a bounce land here. For us, that is. I think they'd probably rather have a bounce land. Okay, so we attack for 12. We attack with everything here. Would have loved to surveil. Mm. Okay, attack with everything. No violent outburst, sadly. So they go to three. We'll play the foothills. I'm just, I'm going to make some more rhinos. So we're not dead to a bounce land, I don't think. Mm, we might be actually because they go bounce land, dealers. Three. No, I don't think so. Because then they could they could bounce Vesuva, play Vesuva as a copy of Valakut, which would deal us another six. Okay, well they don't draw anything of note, so we do manage to get the win there. So not forcing that amulet was actually pretty good. Okay, so what do we want? Um, I don't. Uh, questing beast they do play the one ring so we probably do want that force of negation is only okay subtlety is great we could be trimming force yeah I think we're trimming trimming the force bringing in Beseju definitely both blood moons force of vigor questing beast is an interesting one like it is for this type map type of matchup. Could bring in Brazen Borrow as well. Obviously none of these get cut. What about Leyline? I think Leyline's probably fine. We've brought in a lad, so I could get rid of a Lorien revealed. How good is Leyline? Like it does enable the busted sarts with Scion. Would we rather just have Brazen Borrower or something? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just cut, make one more cut. We'll just cut the other questing beast. I guess beast is a good out to the ring. But I don't think we want to cut anything else. We could cut one Lorien Revealed or we could cut one like Tapland. Uh, maybe we went to cut hedge maze for a questing beast. It's the first one. Let's try that. Maybe that's incorrect, but okay. So we've got a blood moon, but nothing else. So we have to mulligan this. Mulligan. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We'll keep this. I think I'm going to put Questing Beast on the bottom. Or is it just Footfalls, actually? I think I'm just going to put Footfalls on the bottom. Dump a Ley Line out. We get Turn 1 Binding this way as well. Okay, opponent plays Valakut. Do need to find another land, but... Surveil can help us with that. Actually, we don't need to find one now. We just drew another Misty Rainforest, so that's fine. <laughs> we only have one Surveil land in the deck. Amulet. I'm probably just going to Binding that. It uses our mana. line binding the amulet right let's see what we draw another land's not the best we can go steam vents tapped pass the turn we could have surveilled there but then I don't know I want to I want to get rid of the amulet it stops from casting the ring this turn Mana could be 
Ryab. We know they've got Valaka in hand. Ideally, I suppose we want them to be relying on a ring so we can go like Shavas agent next turn, they go ring, get protection, and then we questing beast and attack for fourteen. Okay, there's Dryad. So probably just gonna play Valakut. Okay, another bounce land. Hmm. Looks like they might be setting up for a uh, Titan next turn. Uh, so we'll just grab Surveil Land. Uh, ooh, now that is very tempting. I think we have to top that. I, <clears throat> I think. Annoyingly, we can't subtlety this turn if we shard this agent, but I think we have to go for shard this agent to get some pressure. And then next turn we can hold up subtlety. But if we just go subtlety here, like if, if we just pass the turn, they go Titan, we subtlety it, they shove it on top. We then just play Questing Beast, we haven't really got any clock. What we'd love to do is for the opponent to not quite be able to cast Titan this turn. And for us to rip a, a blue card. Okay, amulet scary. That's probably yeah, that's probably enough to tighten here. Okay, they play Balakert. So that's one, two, three, four mana. They need another bounce land. Or oh, oh no, Vestige is enough, right? Hmm, they got Titan. Hopefully it's the ring. Looks like it might be Titan though. Okay, packed for Titan. I guess we'll try and take it and then if we Blood Moon them, if we manage to find exactly Blood Moon, they might not be able to pay for the pack. Okay, they actually get a load of Vesuvas, which is hitting us for one, two, uh, hitting us for 18. I think they fade both their lands though. So yeah, they are dead to Blood Moon. Fortunately, we haven't taken any damage. I guess they could have Explore or another Dryad to just kill us. Actually no, Dryad's not enough. So yeah, our out is Blood Moon. I think that's it. Alright, Blood Moon. No. Okay, so that was pretty rough. But like, yeah, if we go subtlety there, I guess subtlety in the face of Pact are actually in pretty good. Okay, so we got the two Blood Moons. I don't think we want to change anything from the play. Do we actually want questing beasts? I don't think we. I think I would rather have dismember, actually. I think that's probably fine. We are quite short on green cards. Yep, we'd like to play first. We have a blood moon, but and two subtleties, but we really need another land. Uh no, we just can't risk this because we'd have to go and get a, a tap land. This hand's a lot better. Um, I think I'm just gonna bottom. We'll keep this. I think I'm gonna bottom the rhinos and 
keep beside you just as a spell. Okay. Because beside you hits, yeah, hits amulet, it hits dryad. What are we getting here is the question. Quite want to get Xander's Lounge. Yeah, I think that's better than surveilling at the moment. Okay, play the Temple Garden. Now, are we gonna ice this? Does it really do anything for us? Yeah, I think so. Because we go ice, it stops them going amulet, bounce land. Hmm, I haven't really got anything in hand now though. Okay, Force of Vigor is not the worst draw. So let's just go land. We'll get basic forest because we can get basic island here. Make 10 power. Uh, 8 power, sorry. Okay, so if they go... don't know, don't know what they can... don't know what the worst thing would be here. They don't have any coloured mana. They could go amulet. Okay, floating two colourless, or not. Mm, Engineer Explosives is almost as bad as it gets. Let's crack it now. Okay, that hurts. Okay, I wonder if we're meant to besade you that, probably. We'd love to draw Blood Moon, more Cascaders. Well, there's Blood Moon. I think I'm just going for that. So we just go Misty. Yeah, I think so. Island, cast the Blood Moon. Like it just locks them out of a lot of stuff. Oh, the trouble is we haven't got any pressure. Binding not great. Can't cast binding. Weirdly enough we can cast um, <laughs> the ring yeah okay weirdly enough we can cast the ley line so that's actually a pretty good draw actually that's one of our best draws now that's another one crashing footfalls okay 10 power so yeah we've got some really good draws we've got basic planes is good uh, for leyline binding uh, the mm, they find forest so they could besage our blood moon here I guess we don't want to Yield. Got nine cards in hand. They usually only play one EE, I think. I've got one basic forest out. So they could go Dryad, which we 
Hmm, Besage is not great there. Because if we Besage the Dryad, they can still... They get the other basic forest. So yeah, finding that basic forest. Hmm, Summoner's Pact is pretty good. So they go Dryad. But then if we Binding the Dryad... So they have to pay the pact on upkeep. Sousa. Okay. So they play a lot of lands. So they're dead to basic planes or dismember. Okay. Oh, if one of these was a green card, he'd be absolutely... Well, I mean, we'd just win the game here. Okay, they don't have any land uh, in hand. Do we besage you the Dryad? So we draw basic planes. Ardent Plea. So actually we draw the worst card possible. So are we besaging the Dryad? They, If we besage you Dryad, they get basic forests and they go... I think we have... Well... I think we let them pay first. Um, there's no point in attacking this Shardless Agent. So they pay with... Like, do we persuade you now is the question. So we go persuade you this, they get a land, they go pay one, two, uh, but they don't have any mana for this turn. I think I have to besage you because it stops them casting Titan. No, it doesn't because we besage you this, they get basic forest. It does stop them casting Titan this turn. But can they do that anyway? They go pay one, two, three, four, so they'd need a land. Do we let them pay first? Um, I think letting them pay is... Yeah, I think we let them pay and then we let them go to draw in case they draw their basic forest or something. Because at the moment, some Titan lists are only playing one. Um, sorry, only playing two basics. I think. Hmm. So they go to twelve. We let them go to draw step. And then, yeah, we'll just besage you the dryad. Oh, can they still cast Titan now? Yeah, because they left up forest. Hmm. Like, Titan's not overly scary. Okay, yeah, they get basic forest. Maybe we should have besaged you. No, because they had the, the grazer. If we besaged you in our turn, we could have attacked with shardless. Maybe.
Okay, they have another dryad. Got five cards in hand. Okay, so we'd love a green card, really. So that we can go uh, in their upkeep, kill dry, kill spelunking. I mean, spelunking doesn't really matter, it's dry we want to kill. A grazer or something. Yep. Basic planes also acceptable. Okay, shard this agent. Well, we'll attack first. So the question is I guess if they do end up dealing with our blood moon, but how bad is Titan for us here? It's not awful. But they'd have to go besage you. The they could hmm, they could Ottawara as well. We'd have to do it in their upkeep, so if they do have something like Ottawara, they can do it. They go Ottawara the Blood Moon. But if they do that, we can binding. Hmm, it's an interesting one this. So they block here. They're taking six. Okay, so they're pretty determined to keep the dried around. I don't think we need. Oh, spelunking! If they have, yeah, I think we, I think we uh, force a vigor in their upkeep. Kill the dryad. Kill the spelunking. Yeah, I think so, because we've got enough power anyway to win the game next turn. Okay, so we'll let the ring resolve. They go to four. Kill this, kill this. Exile shardless. find another ring would keep them alive for a turn. I think we cut the questing beasts in the end. Yeah. Okay. They might have picked your poison, but the hardened plea actually insulates us from pick your poison because they can't kill the blood moon with it. They have four cards in hand. If they go for the Beseju, we get basic planes probably. Okay, they draw a load of cards. So they're going to f rings up to four counters. They could go for another ring. Buys for the turn. But they have to, if they don't have ring, they have to win this turn because otherwise the ring will kill them. Titan at the moment isn't amazing. Three cards. So if they go Dryad, how scary is Dryad? They've gone through one, two, two Dryads. I guess they could have some sort of sweeper. Fire, no, Fire Spout doesn't do it. I don't think they run the four damage one anymore. OK, 
Okay, there's another dryad. We got seven cards in hand. I guess Ottawara would now work. Okay, they do have the Seiju. Uh, yep. So we'll just go and get basic planes. Or do we get lush portico? I think basic planes is fine. Yeah. So now if they go Titan, we let them get the lands. And then, oh, this is pretty rough because they have mirror pool and stuff as well. But they don't have any way to untap it. Uh, we have to binding the dryad because otherwise they're just going to dome us with titan hmm hmm it could okay spelunking That's interesting. Oh, I think that probably wins the game because now they've got multiple routes to victory. Okay, there's Sanctuary. What they're gonna valica? They need to, yeah. They do need to kill us this turn. So they valica us, which I think we let resolve. Because we, hmm. Trouble is, they 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 they, they, they might oh, it might have multiple titans in hand. Two Valakut triggers. Again, I think we let them resolve to make them think we don't have a binding. Maybe this is incorrect. Finding the last dryad was pretty rough. So now they need another land or a way to conjure one up. Okay, Colossus is actually weirdly a lot better than Titan here. So now we go binding the Dryad Two, three, four, five. They have got enough to cast a Titan, unfortunately. We just have to hope they haven't got it. They all fizzle. They got four cards in hand. Good games. Another amulet. Got three cards in hand. Pack. Why did they... Oh, that's rough. Although they didn't have a land in hand to put in with... They stopped putting them in with Colossus. They could have tightened there to win the... Oh, no, that doesn't... Oh, that's rough. I think that's just GG's, yeah. Oh, that was rough because they needed exactly that I think uh, maybe I shouldn't have let them uh, maybe we should have binding 
fur before we did to get rid of the dryad so we didn't take as much damage from the triggers. Hmm. But then if they do tighten, like we don't know the last card in their hand, it looks like it wasn't actually tight. Uh, they had the pack though, so actually I don't think there was any way we could have won that game if the opponent plays correctly, which they did, because uh, they had multiple routes to victory. Like if we binding right at the start, they just go summoner's pack, tighten, like give it haste, kill us. Um, whereas as it was, yeah. I don't think we could have done anything there. That's a shame. That's really close. Okay, well, on to round three. Right, on the play here for round three. We've got the ley line, but you know, if, if this was a fetch land, then maybe because we could surveil, but no, we can't keep one land down the on like that. Uh this is much better. We're gonna keep bottom the rhinos probably. Start with a steam vents tap. Not really doing much for the first couple of turns unless we draw a fetch land. Citadel, playing to Ganthus's affinity. People getting ready for some big modern spoilers, modern horizons three spoilers this weekend. Ether spell bomb. It's fine. Okay, we find a Seiju, which is interesting. So we'll play the forest so we can besage you something potentially. Like if they go Urza's Saga, definitely one we want to besiege you. Although they'd have probably played Urza's Saga first. Okay, so we will besiege you that. We'll do it end of turn. They scribe top and bottom as well. So let's just go get rid of that. <laughs> Doubt they play main deck spell pierce, but it is possible. Let's play the Shardless Agent. It's more likely they play um, Metallic Rebuke. They didn't have enough stuff for that. Bit surprised they don't bounce our our rhino there. They must have some expensive stuff in hand. They want to make one mana like their uh, what they call thought monitors and stuff. Okay, you want to thought the yep one mana draw two. May reveal and any number of artifact cards put them into your hand. That's pretty good. Five cards. Oh, okay. So they three mana draw five. Mirror enforcer. Yeah, that's all pretty good. Sure, what we can do against those. I think we just have to trade. Yeah, so we'll attack with both rhinos. <laughs> Don't think we want to binding here. But we're happy to trade these two. Play another one. I'm assuming the opponent can make uh, mana for <laughs> Gigantha, I guess. Springleaf Drum can. Okay, another 
thought monitor and the saga probably s this game's probably now beyond our grasp oh they can return their own stuff what did they return oh they just drew a card why sure they could have returned thought monitor to draw an extra two don't know Okay, well that allows us to play some stuff. Oh, we get binding for one. Actually, this is really good because we go so attack with both rhinos. We can, if they try and sort of double block one, we can potentially get them with the ley line binding. Okay, so we just go binding. I think we just eat a frog mite. Actually, if we eat this, it's the same thing, but they lose. Mm. If we're binding a frog, might. Yeah, you know, it's binding here. Uh, we get through more damage here. Let's play the Scion as well. Pass the turn. My saga making these tokens is going to be nuts though, is the problem. <laughs> yeah, we need to, I mean, if we draw the ley line at some point. But yeah, this is going to be the big problem. Mm, draw another island. The land's not great. They can't attack now. They just make a huge token, get Shadow Spear. We just lose, I think. That's a lot of stuff. Make another one. Affinity's gotten really quite popular. Seen, seen it quite a lot online. Yep. Okay. I think we've seen enough. Just the. Like, without Urza Saga, we might have been in that game. Right. So, Force of Vigor in. Um, I would probably want damping matrix here. Don't want force of negation. Like activate his ability of artifacts. Can't be activated. It's probably pretty good <laughs> text for a card. Um, Blood Moon is interesting. Oh, we definitely want Seiju. Don't think we want Questing Beast. So it's whether we want these six cards. How good is Fire Ice? Probably not that great actually. I'll trim Fire Ice. I think Blood Moon stops Saga specifically. So maybe bring in those and that. Yeah. I think if we get Leyline Scion, that's really good. I mean, just in general, that's really good. <laughs> but. Okay, there's Leyine. Yeah, this hand is okay. Because we can lower and revealed for another land. I wonder if we're meant to lower and revealed here or just surveil. No, we're lower and revealed. Because it gives us the that we can draw the Scion then. We brought in the Blood Moon, so we probably just get Island. So we draw. Okay, Ardent Plea is not bad. It's 
So we can bind in here potentially and then yeah we're gonna survey or hopefully hit another land. Hmm. Okay, sacrifice the enchantment. So we're going to get Lush Portico, hopefully find another land. I wasn't necessarily expecting Pick Your Poison out of this deck, but I guess it does make sense. Um, yeah, get Lush Portico. Uh, we don't want that one. Can't cast those at the moment. All right, show us a land. Yes. Okay, so we haven't got red mana. We're not massively in red, but given that we've got this binding, yeah, I think we'll get. Um, yeah, I'll we'll just get steam vents right. Play a shard, this agent. Right, short of us drawing all of our crashing footfalls, we can <laughs> cascade for the next three turns as well. Okay, there's a saga. Okay, probably going to start. I wonder if we're meant to care about that or if we're just meant to. I don't think so. Like the oh yeah, that's rough. Okay, so now we just attack. They scribe two to the top as well, which is pretty rough. I guess we island cycle. Are we going to binding that and then just attack? Or do we just attack? I kind of want to just attack, but attack make more rhinos. They go to six. This isn't easy. I think I have to binding this. I think we have to. Although they're they're already going to start making so many of these, maybe we're meant to just try and aggro them, make even more rhinos. Let's activate everything here. Yeah, we're happy for this to trade. Okay, it was binding. kills that as well actually yeah so that actually worked out pretty well for us so we'll probably just play ardent plea here make a construct This isn't Thought Monitor. I don't think I can play Thought Monitor for one mana. Okay. Do you Ardent Plea or do I just Shard the Sajan for the extra power? Subtlety's pretty good. I think I'm going to Ardent Plea. because we're attacking for extra this turn, it would actually get some damage through potentially. Trouble is they can get Shadow Spear. Okay, attack for five. Yeah, they get 
Shadow Spear, that becomes a 5, that becomes a 6. So they do here. They probably make another token. Probably should have brought in Brazen Borrower. Making another token. So they need another land in order to equip a shadow spear. Trouble is, if they find shadow, okay, they get either spell bomb. I'll subtly a thought monitor here. Cast is fine. Well, not fine, but <laughs> can't really do too much about it. Okay, these are seven sevens. So we struggle to attack through those. So probably just playing another shard this agent. Would love to draw force of vigor. Mm, Blood Moon's actually pretty good as well. Although, can we afford it? Would kill Urza Saga, it would stop them casting blue spells, but it also stops us doing anything. I don't think we can afford to do that, unfortunately. Maybe should have fetched better around that. Oh, we have a we have one island, but. Okay, so we, uh, I could attack for one with one. That doesn't really do me any good. No, we want to save it. I think. Maybe we were meant to blood moon there. They make the mana, which is a bit scary. Wire might. I think I'm just going to subtlety that because we don't want them getting that stupid synthesizer back or gaining life. Oh, I suppose I can just draw a card with Ether Spell Bomb. Yeah, that was probably a bit wrong. Put it on top. If they have to draw, it costs, you know, it costs some mana and then another mana and then another mana. Okay, nothing for us to do now. We've got four cards in hand, there's a drum. It's hard casting another one. Pretty scary. But we can just attack here. Okay, another companion. Oh, and they make another thing. I think, unless. Hmm. So if we attack with everything, they block f four things, so we get through with one Rhino. That's not enough. I'm gonna play the Matrix. Oh, they can't activate... Oh, no, they can activate mana abilities. 
bit late for that probably, but they can't do the Haywire Might's ability. Another one. Sure. They got one card in hand. And it makes another one. This is a uh, pretty rough. I don't do anything though. Can't get through. Besage you, eh? Okay, that's interesting. Couple is they can just start cast. Uh, maybe I should have besaged you then. Like they topped with their. Bought monitor. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think we can win now. I think this synthesizer is just. I like, probably should have besaged you one of these. Because they're just making endless constructs. Another th yeah thought monitor into thought. I don't think there's anything that gets us out of this now. I think we can just concede. I don't think yeah, that was rough. Okay, on to round four. Okay, good hand here on the play for round number th four. Uh, we'll surveil. Try and find our third land. We've got some free interaction. Two cascaders, which is nice. Um. I haven't had a uh, oh, this again. I haven't had any turn one uh, ley line into turn two scions yet. Okay, let's surveil. We'll go and get hedge maze here. Uh, no, lush portico here. See if we can surveil into another land. Um, I'm going to graveyard that one. It gives away what we're doing a little bit, but need to find our land. Hmm. So we don't find it. Breeding pool tapped pass. Not sure if it's the same opponent as last round. Citadel. Right, let's see our land. Land off the top. Yes. Okay, so let's go land. Could get steam vents. Let's play out our Shardless agent. Cast the footfalls. Pass the turn. If they cast that synthesizer thing, I'll just force it. Pitch subtlety. Okay, opponent makes a lot of stuff. See, so yeah, this would have gone nuts with that synthesizer. So actually, I think we need to leave force in. Okay, just attack with everything. No blocks from the opponent. Let's play another ardent plea. As many as much power as possible. Yeah, I think I think force is better than subtlety here. Drum, monitor, hopefully we'll get there here, they got three cars in hand, they'd have to go something like companion, companion, companion. 
don't think it's the same list because the last list had Gigantha. If I'm allowed, we can play Questing Beast. Okay. <laughs> Not the greatest draw. Yeah, we're swinging with everything. the opponent off as much stuff as we can. Machine over matter. Return uh, something into its own hand. Sure. So unfortunately we can't play any of the spells in our hand. I think the opponent does have to block though, yeah. Through for some damage. Pass a turn. Well, if there's a card that can get them out of it, it's definitely that one. But if they go, they need to go, they need to make, well, they need to make quite a few constructs here. I mean that's one. Like another thought monitor would be very very good. Frog might's also very good. Hopefully they can't. There's another thought monitor. Yeah, this is probably that's probably just stabilised them. So we need to land into Scion really. This card's actually pretty crazy. Like they just made 30 odd power. No, what's that, 45, 50 power? If you get to cast these rhinos as well. Okay, Temple Garden. So we shock that in play Scion. And we have to pass the turn. Yikes. I think Scion is really our only route to victory here. Yep. I think we just lose. But they have they do have some flying power. They put two on the bottom. Make another construct. Draw another two cards. Emery as well. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, these are now 1919s, so we have to block all three. Hopefully, they attack with all of the. Like, if they attack, if they only leave one flying blocker back, then we get to cheese them out with the ley line from hand. Because Sion will gain trample. So let's go. Okay, glad auto tapping just worked there. Didn't really want to have to <laughs> sit and re go through everything. So let's play a hedge maze. Subtlety is interesting actually. Uh, it's probably one of our better draws. Or are we just after drawing fire? I'm going to graveyard that one. Ok, 
Okay, so we'll attack with Scion. I guess Ardent Plead as well. So if they go block, block, bl they have to... Okay. So yeah, they have to do a lot of blocking here in the air. Um, so what do we want to kill? Like they're going to get to Embry something back is the problem. But there's a Thought Monitor in there already. So yeah, that's fine. Oh, they could Haywire Might, I suppose. From the graveyard. We've got 20, 22 lifelink power. Thought cast good draw for the opponent. I guess if they go haywire might from grave part like attack with some of these and pass then that's really bad because they can what do they target Tar uh, target thought monitor okay I guess it is a flyer they have two flyers left Scions only a. I wonder if we could have attacked with everything there. Probably not. Okay, Saga's obviously pretty good. I don't think they can attack though. Ooh, what does that do? Plus one haste and ward. Okay, that's not that's fine. I right, haven't got trample. Trample is all we care about. Our stuff has first strike. We've got twenty twenty six life link. If they attack with everything, if they just attack with these, you know we we'll have to do some maths. So they're attacking with 24 24s. So we've got 26 and it all has first strike. So if we uh, if we block everything they get through with two. No, we can't do that. So we just have to chump. So we'll just go chump here. And then we've got 24. They can't hmm. If we mob block it is just enough. So we'll kill that. I think we probably have to go for that. I think that's probably better than just chumping. So we've got 24. This is a 24, 24. Yeah, I think we do that. If they have some way to blow us out, then fine. Hopefully I've done, yeah, done the maths right. Um, another Scion. So we play Questing Beast, but that doesn't really do anything. So we go Scion, they block. Things don't have death touch, do they? No. So just attack with the scion. Yeah, we're gonna play another scion here. Opponent double has to double block. Hmm. 
But I think if the opponent actually attacks with everything now, we might just die. Oh, this has first strike though. Like first strike and death touch is a potent combination. Hmm. Is that just better? Silent Draco wins the game next turn. But we have to go, we go block. Oh, I don't know if we've got enough to block. Scion blocks though. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the Scion. Opponent goes to one. It's a close game. Really interesting though. Do you like uh, attacking and blocking. Emery can just cast another Thought Monitor, which is annoying. I think they should probably just cast the Haywire Might, if I'm honest. Although, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's why, yeah, Questing Beast makes a little bit, yeah, makes quite a lot of sense with Leyline Scion, because if you have all three out, it has First Strike and Death Touch, which is just, yeah, they do play the Haywire Might. But they have to get rid of quite a lot. Okay, they get, they exile the, oh, they get a three. We don't have lifelink anymore, but these aren't quite big enough. They got seven of them, not quite big enough to kill us in one hit. We need to keep a scion alive. Hmm, okay, that's pretty good. So, I, yeah, I think we are just dead here. And it probably just attacks with everything. Okay, so we need to keep a Scion alive. So the Scion blocks here. This blocks, this blocks, block, block. Yeah, I think this is just enough, isn't it? We, yeah, okay. We were so far ahead in that game, unfortunately. Um, and then, yeah, uh, the same as the game before, that sync synthesizer thing just took over the game. Uh, bring out the Seiju. We brought in Blood Moon last time. I think subtly can go. Um, Force of Vigor is obviously a slam dunk. Want the ley line scion things. Questing beasts, I think, can go. Uh, do we want any of this stuff? Fire Ice, uh, not actually that great. Blood Moon deals with Saga. It deals with a lot of their mana as well, actually. So let's bring that in. Yeah. Right, yep. I'd like to play first. Really close to that last one. So we have Beseju cycle for another land. No, I think we have to mulligan this. Uh, double ley line nothing else. I guess we keep, put one ley line on the bottom, put one onto the field. Probably just surveil. I want to keep them off as much uh, affinity as possible. So like killing the naught drops is definitely acceptable. Definitely going to save the binding. Ooh, I didn't play top that one. OK, 
Okay, play this past the turn. Um, yeah, definitely saving the binding for one of those synthesizers because that's what we seem to be <laughs> just losing the game to. Why am I okay? I doubt they tap the Tanglewood Bridge here. Oh, they do to do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll island cycle. This is going to go and get lush portico. Actually, it might go and get. Hmm. We're getting lush portico. Actually, it might just be. Let's get a hallowed fountain and then fetch up Xander's lounge, probably. Yeah, I think so. We could have dismembered there, but I think I want to save that for something like an Emery. Right, make some rhinos. Eight power on turn three just seems pretty pedestrian, given what the uh, opponent's deck is capable of. Though, I like hear they could easily. Oh, maybe we were meant to dismember that frog, might you know? Because otherwise, if they go that synthesizer into big creature, big creature. Okay, so they either don't have the land. Just gonna attack with everything. Oh, Shardless Agent's very nice. Could just attack with one, but I think we want to get. Okay, Shardless. Uh, yeah, we can go and get basic planes if we need to. I wonder if we're meant to just get basic planes here. I don't think so. I want to save the leyline binding for the synthesizer. Because there is a trigger when it comes in. Okay, thought monitor. Lots of power on the. F well, lots of creeps on the field, but not much power. Go and get a surveil land here. Shadow Spear is fine. Okay. Just going to attack with everything. Surveil. Uh, graveyard that one. Scion, hmm, it gives this trample and hex proof. Everything else is one mana anyway, we might as well cast it. Okay, attack with everything. If they don't put enough power in front of this, we might be able to win the game. Like here, they're taking 12. Yeah, so we just dismember one of these, and then... 
If this is how they block, we can remove one of these. Okay, so they're actually blocking a lot. Um, so if we remove these two, we get through for 12, which isn't enough anyway. I think I'm happy to just trade off for all of this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Like keep. But we couldn't quite do it there. But keeping these in hand I think is better. Like we wrath their board anyway. Good block by the opponent, I I suppose. Well, I don't know, because if we have it we we kinda win the game anyway. Cast Saga. It's all fine. But I need to do something big here. I wonder if we're meant to like binding the shadow spear or something so they can't cast bigger big enough things. I don't think so. So this could be like a companion. So maybe we're just binding that anyway. Okay, so anything we want to change? I do. We really want Blood Moon. Most of their stuff's colorless. It's probably too slow on the draw on the play anyway. On the draw, bring in one copy of Dismember, maybe a Brazen Borrower. Right, what do we think of this? I think we have to mulligan this. Two footfalls in the opener is not good. No, we never cast we're not casting the silent for ages, we haven't got the third land. And if we want to surveil we can't uh footfalls on, on turn one. We'll mulligan this. Um Yeah, I think this is fine. We'll keep. Weirdly enough it might what we're we gonna put on the bottom. We want the three lands. Is it just dismember? Yeah, I'm gonna put dismember on the bottom. Put one ley line out, just because ley line pitches to force. Definitely able to get more value than that. Okay, we find another land. Let's play the land of pass. Like if this didn't have force of vigor, we probably would have gone to we would have gone to five. Ornithopter. We've got the Besaidu, so that can hit that. Um, we kind of want them to play synthesizer here. Hmm. It's quite annoying. Okay. But if that's all they're doing, so we're going to get Portico. They haven't got any coloured mana, which is interesting. Okay, graveyard that one. Uh, dismember's interesting. Let's play that pass. Lots of cars in hand. They've only got two. Don't really want to fire our spells off just yet. Okay, thought cast is a good one. Okay. Still not really interested in killing any of this with our force of vigor. No, no equip. Okay, so same again. I think just go and get hedge maze this time. Graveyard. Okay, force isn't a bad draw. I 
It might, I don't know, I don't think I want to get rid of the drum just yet. Okay, sure. Don't really care about that. Saving the force for something like an Urza Saga. Just gonna go and get the Triome here. Fix our mana. Okay, there's a shard this agent. You, yeah, just play that. Got some free spells. I think I might even play the Besage you. Though we don't want to give them coloured mana. They could have some sort of count spell here. Yeah, they could have Metallic Rebuke potentially. Yeah, maybe we should have killed the Springleaf Drum. I don't know, maybe I'm meant to just go like force, kill this, kill this. Um <clears throat> Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll let them scry. And then we'll go force pitch, ley line, kill drum, kill synthesizer. Put two on the bottom. We could just hard cast force, but I think I'd rather. Yep, let's just go for this now. So kill this, kill this. Okay, we find another Shardless Agent, which is really nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, yeah, the, the matchup revolves around that synthesizer by the looks of it. It's like keeping in the force of negation is much, oh. Yep, fortunately that did work. Thought Modo had glitched me out of an attack there. So yeah, we just hold up. Opponent's been pretty unlucky not to find a like, coloured mana. We could consider like dismembering one of these so they can't cast the bigger stuff. I don't think so though. I feel like they have maybe Thought Monitor in hand, something like that. Oh, maybe not. Oh, equipping, sure. Okay, so now we just get to attack. Four twelve. If the opponent doesn't block here, I was gonna say if the opponent doesn't block, I think we just dismember something. Play the breeding pool. Pass the turn. Um, no, I think that's fine. I think we'll save the dismember for like a a four four. Yep. GG's. Um, okay, good to get our revenge against Affinity. Let's see if we can close out positive. Right, good hand here. Um, yeah, we can keep I, the Besage is a little bit annoying with this leyline binding, but going. Suspend footfalls into ice into cascade. Okay, drawing another binding, not the best. Okay, suspend some rhinos. Okay, play a saga. Is this Jun Saga maybe? Okay, Goif. Um Let's 
so if we fetch we can't quite kill the goif or can we so it'll be a no we can't kill it with fire um breeding pool is obviously a good draw I think what I'm gonna do is just go breeding pool yeah and then we're gonna ice the stomping ground stops them making a token potentially stops them playing something like Renin Six. So we're going to get white mana here. Okay, so not necessarily Jund. Okay, do we just go and get a basic? I think so. Yeah, I think that's fine. Make some rhinos. Pass the turn. But I might go and get Shadow Spear. Yeah, the saga is going to grow the Goyf to a 4 5. If they attack, do be double block. Okay, so they're not making the mana. Oh, they get cookbook. Okay, this is definitely not what I thought it was. Okay, in T. Okay. Get another in T. They can't cast Asmo. Let's see if I land. Okay, another saga. Shadow spear. If you've attacked with Goyf, I'm double blocking. Okay, so let's go land. How much do we care about that? Well, we care about the shadow spear. I think uh, we have to kill Inti. Ooh, can I get gr red mana here? Oh, I played the wrong land. If we get Xander's Lounge, if we get Temple Garden, Temple Garden's good. Oh, I can't believe I played the wrong land. Um, if we get Xander's Lounge, I can cast Binding for one mana. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's go binding the goif, and then we'll no we'll binding inti. Oh, I think we have to do that, and then pass the turn. Oh, I, I just I needed to play the steam vents so I could fire in T and then yeah fire in T and then binding the goif as it is we'll just go ice the goif hopefully they'll go to equip shadow spear we'll ice the goif and then binding it Let's go ice here. Okay. Get to make some more rhinos. Uh, another land isn't really what we want, um, but we'll play it. Suspend here, play the land. Uh, a rhino, 
Okay, we'll attack with everything. If they make a token and try and block as a 4 4, we'll binding the Shadow Spear. Yeah, definitely Shadow Spear. Okay, discard Bolt, make a food. How bad is it if they have... Hmm, <laughs> how bad is it if they have... Um... Oh, I should really fetch in response to this. Just... I've been got by Pithy Needle before. It's, they probably don't go and get Pithy Needle here. Um, let's get yeah, it's the Portico. Extra white mana. Uh, don't want that one. That's our last one as well. Okay, you get another cookbook. No attacks. This is now big enough. They don't have any mana either. Oh, we can attack with... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, come on. These draws are not good. We could. We can't attack with one quite. Because they can't get through the goif. Let's set up, fifth, uh, set up 14. If they find an Asmo, it's really, really bad. Oh, they find another Saga. Breakout as well, okay. Oval chases. Uh, it's pretty. Yeah, this construct is going to start becoming a, a massive issue. Need to find a way to deal with it. Right, let's see if we can draw something good. Well, that does count as something good. <laughs> uh, so let's play this, cast this. So we want to hold up these two lands. Uh, Scion's interesting. Let's play the Scion. Rhinos have double trample. Yeah, the opponent just makes loads and loads of food here, which makes the construct enormous. I would probably have to just chump. I can make another one as well. What is this? Oh, this is this. Um, yeah, this is like this gets massive with artifacts as well, and it has death touch. Point of fifteen. How do they gain life? Oh, did this? Oh, you gain one life. Okay, so they're gaining a lot of life. So we need to find our bindings. Oh, don't be Asmo. Oh, that probably wins the game. Yeah, because they can go do the whole thing again, blast our stuff, and we just lose. Okay, we've seen enough here. Right, so I think Damping Matrix seems good. Uh, Force of Vigor probably as well. Force of Negation's not great. Subtlety's okay. What do we think about... Questing Beast probably not probably not the one for that. Dismember probably is. Um, don't think we necessarily want Blood Moon. It's possible that we want Endurance, but it's quite hard to stop the whole Oval Chase thing. How good is Fire Ice? Not as good as this. I think I want Dismember instead. I think actually instead of Fire Ice, I want the Brazen Borrowers. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, I'd like to play first. 
and yeah our hands pretty good um, I actually don't think we're gonna play uh, suspend the footfalls on turn one I think what we're gonna do is just go and grab the triome so yeah go and grab the triome and that way we can use it to pitch to force and we can play Scion on turn turn two. Okay, didn't want to draw another one really. So yeah, let's get Temple Garden. Play Scion. Decent blocker. We haven't had Scion ley line much this this league pick your poison or something would really hurt uh, looks like it's what it is yeah Ragavan Lauren revealed. Could have been worse. Okay, another Lauren revealed. So yeah, we'll just we'll play this. Make some rhinos. the turn Pence of Ales If they get Urza Saga we probably will force whether we do it with the trigger on the stack or not is another matter they put a land into the graveyard Okay, break out. Into Goyf is pretty good. Oh, they put it into their hand. Just a miss, a modo misclick, I think. Yeah. Should have had a hasty four or five Goyf. Okay, so thanks to Ardent Plea, we can attack with one Rhino here. Ooh, Leyline Binding, eh? So let's Island Cycle from this. So we've got full domain, so we'll get Hedge Maze, play Hedge Maze, and then we can suspend and binding. Graveyard that one. Suspend. Um I'm actually just gonna attack with one. We'll see if they block. Because we don't really want Oh, okay, that's pretty good for us. Thinks, thinks better of it. Playing around leyline binding. In T. Um. Okay, so beginning of combat will binding. Uh, we'll get just. Oh, uh, we could have just got rid of the inti, I suppose. I guess they might as well attack with Ragavan here. So 
So now the question is, do we attack with everything? Subtlety is a really good draw. I think I'm just going to attack with one. I think I want something back on defense. They've got the subtlety as well. I'm just going to subtlety that. There's no guarantee they play another creature. Put it on the bottom. Haywire might is interesting. So they can get their goif back. Goyf would be pretty massive. I guess now we just attack with subtlety. Okay, Shard the Sagement's pretty good. <laughs> um, how big would Goyf be? Well, pretty huge. Um, actually, I think it's right to just attack with this. Oh, hold on, how many crashing floors have we got? We've got one on suspend. Okay, that's fine. One here, one in the graveyard, one on suspend. So yeah, we do have more to go. Unless I've made a horrible mistake. Okay, see if the opponent goes for the haywire might here. I can't imagine they don't. Oh, they besage you. Okay. Um, so we just get the surveil land for a bit of extra value. Guild pact. No, put that into the graveyard. Okay, so Besaidu taking care of our Ley Lion. Bit surprised they didn't use the Haywire Might. Okay, we'll see what they do. Another wormlet. Okay. So what is to stop us just attacking with everything? I mean, nothing's stopping us attacking with everything, obviously, but <laughs> um, does that just win the game? So we go attack with everything. They they go they block exile this. They're at seven. If I force a vigor first. Force, kill this, kill this. They go up to seven. They go down to four. And then they go, they've got five blockers, but that should be enough. I think. What could they have? They could have bolt. If they bolt the subtlety. But is this getting any better? Or we just attack with subtlety?
I think I'm just going to go for it here. So we go force Haywire Might. They go to seven. Attack with everything. Um, they can block one of these, but then we get through with enough. Yeah, I think we'll just go for it here. Kill this, kill this. Like they'll hopefully they'll use the mana for yeah that's good so I think this is now fine so they go block here the subtlety is getting through yeah this is enough I think yep okay good stuff Uh, so we saw a breakout. I don't think we necessarily want to change anything. I wonder if we want Questing Beast. Probably not. How into Damping Matrix are we? It deals with... Ah, oh, they are allowed a Saga deck. They can't activate the... I actually don't think that's that good here. Like the only thing it, it deals with shadow spear it deals with um the cookbooks but if they're already getting to that kind of stage i think i'd rather have a beseju like a questing beast maybe or an endurance they are ragavan Bring in a, just a fire ice. Let's try that. Like, cause let's say we like this is such a bad top deck. We slam it, but yeah, I think I'd rather not. Right, what do we think of this? We go ley line. It's a bad hand. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, this is better. Uh, can we afford? We haven't got a blue card. I think I'm just gonna get rid of. One force of just the force of vigor, put the ley line in, and then we have bi double binding for one mana. Oh, opponents skipped their turn, unfortunately. Like, there's not really much we can do about it. Um, Got that one. Yeah, it, it like it just happens on Moda. Sometimes you just skip your first turn, like by either a misclick or what have you. Okay, cookbook. I'm just gonna binding that right away. Okay, that's not too bad. Suspend binding. So we've got Rhinos on Suspend. We'd like to draw Shard this Agent or something, really. Question is, do we Law Room Revealed? As in Island Cycle? Probably not. Ooh, Scion is very nice. So I only got the Scion Leyline thing. Opponent does, we did see Pick Your Poison from the opponent. like they may have it. Yep, sacrifice the Ooh, Haywire Might is pretty good there. Okay, let's just surveil. I guess they could hit the ley line. Ooh, uh, yeah, we'll top that one. 
they could hit the ley line. I think I'm actually going to island cycle now. Just get the Xander's Lounge and play it. Just in case, like, if they go exile your ley line of the guild pact. But we still want to be able to cast binding cheaply. Okay, yeah, so they do hit the ley line. There's a quiff. We'll probably end up leyline binding that. Force of vigor. Attack with scion. Do we care about the goif? Uh, we do now. I think I'm just going to get rid of the inti. is better to get rid of. Right, we're making rhinos this turn. Post combat breakout. You they hit another NT. But we get to cast Some footfalls. Didn't really want to draw a flooded strand. We've used all of our surveil lands well. Um, yeah, I'm just going to attack here. I think we want to keep the, the damage coming. I haven't seen Saga. I wonder. I doubt the opponent sided them out. Shadow Spear. If they equip, they do equip. Like we can just block though, right? So that gets it up to a seven. I think I'm just double blocking. Oh, pick your poison's pretty good. Okay, so we'll just go block block especially since they run pick your poison so we'll sacrifice this um, binding they get cookbook back and then we force a vigor the shadow spear and the cookbook they could have bolt okay asmo sure But that means they can't play. Um, what do we want? We got lots of white. Uh, steam vents. So yeah, they could they couldn't use their pick their pick your poison there, but I guess it's the same getting Asmo out. Oh, another misty rainforest. Let me keep playing them. Um, do you want to attack? I think, yeah, keep attacking with Scion. Oh, they do have Oval Chase dead in the graveyard. Okay, so in response to this, we need to force a vigor so they can't start discarding Oval Chase Daredevil again and again and again. Okay, 
they, oh, they can. Okay, they discard the oval chase. We'll see what they hit. They hit wooded foothills. I'm going to block with the rhino. And then we'll fetch. Try and get the lands out of our deck. Um, do we think that they're likely to be on Blood Moon? Like, probably not, but can't hurt to get some basics. Okay, another Force of Vigor. We can't attack now. Okay, so we do run Black Mana. Oh, Goyf is a very good draw. I'm assuming they won't attack. We got quite a few good draws as well, though. Um, another Scion is okay. But there are better. I will double block the Goyf here. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Not if they attack like this. Okay, they discard a teething wormlet. Let's see what they reveal. Bloodstained mire. They make the Goyf into a six-seven. I mean, yeah, we're just double blocking the Goyf. Yeah, definitely worth just. Oh, we struggle to kill the Goyf sometimes. Yeah, Lauren Reveal, good draw. Um, just anything but land, really. Oh, we have. Uh, I think we brought in Brazen Borrower. We might have Dismember. All of which are fine. Even uh, Leyline of the Guild Pack would be pretty good here. Okay, there's Saga, so yeah, we're going to force a figure that. Like, we just... We can't afford for them to have... A Saga. Keep fetching the lands out of our deck, we don't have many left. <laughs> he says, okay, well, let's pass the turn. But yeah, Lauren revealed, uh, Ley Line would be fine. Street Race, one of their better draws, actually. Play the Goy for free. There's a six, seven. No attacks. And a saga. Yikes. Okay. So yeah, we'll fetch again. Uh just get breathing pool. Right. Something good. Um, I mean, subtlety's not really it. It's okay. But, yeah, I think we just lose this one now. Like, the Street Wraith with Inti into Saga into, and Goyf, I think it's, it's just too much for us. So this is a six. We could flash in subtlety, so we have seven block. I think.
think we have to, or do we? No, I think I'm just going to block here. Like we're dead to bolt, but. Hopefully they just cast that over oh, another saga. Okay. I think I have to well, actually there's nothing that I can draw except Lauren Reveal that punishes me for not casting the subtlety here. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, we just we just draw another land. Like there wasn't anything we could do there really. Um that was pretty rough. That felt that league felt pretty uh pretty rough. Um oh that's not the right one I don't think. Um Yeah, I think I don't know. It just felt a bit clunky at times. We didn't have the ley line scion thing that much, but if that's what we really want you know, if, if if that's what's holding it together, is Zoo just a better choice? Not sure. Um, yeah, not sure. I think it was. I think we got a tad unfortunate in some areas. Maybe played made a few misplays. Do let me know if you you spot anything uh, heinous that could have been done better. But thanks everyone for watching. Still uh, still going with the the old the old rhinos. And yeah, see you again next time. Cheers.